So today we're taking a look at the Collins miter clamps. It's a miter clamp and uh, plier kit. And I'll be honest with you, I remember seeing these come out like 10 years ago. They did a write up in like fine home building of uh, JLC. I don't remember which one it was. And I kept saying, I wish I thought of that. That's genius. And at the time, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to spend the money for that or whatever. Personally, I love them. You've got a, a complicated casing. The wall maybe might be a little out of... Do a little like a nose piercing. piercing. Uh, yeah, yeah. All over it. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Too much information. <laughs> um, it's great for casing. I mean, door casing, window casing, whatever the case is. You're going to... Whatever the case is? Whatever the case is. I mean, it, it holds it together, and I'm... Yeah, it really does. This is, just, really. this is just birch plywood we cut a second ago. I mean, you can, you can see the pressure on it, right? Yeah, I mean, with the plier, you can easily you can easily open the clamp. Um, but when you try to do it by hand, it's it's, it's way tougher. It's yeah. pretty. It's putting a lot of bite on that on that miter. I think these are genius. Yeah, I think I, I, they're under advertised. Oh yeah, I probably uh, yeah. So I how mean, many do we get with? How many would you get with this kit, Josh? You brought four. Is that what came with a kit? Comes with a kit. kit pair of pliers. Four clamps, it's enough to do a window, surround door, or easily yeah, two yeah. sides of a door. Picture frame. Would and, you do this? Would you use this? Yeah, I mean, what what I was about to say, um, yeah, I would use them, especially for the, a tough miter, you know, where you could be going back, you know, say you're say it's the end of the day, you're not doing great, you know, you can use a couple of these and get a nice tight, tight fit and then move on instead of that one awkward angle, you know, just having that, having these clamps putting the force on that to allow that glue yeah. to set. Yep. And then you can walk away from that. You know that joint's going to be tight. Yeah, you're um, not going to apply these by hand. You need the pliers. Oh yeah, the pliers I think are. are yeah. You know. This thing, it's easy on and off with the pliers. Oh, I mean, yeah. it would be super hard. Well, uh, I, with the pliers, it just having the, the where it's bent, it, it gives you that little reach around the, the corner. What about compound miters? Can you use this on like molding and and uh, other stuff? Compound miters and things like that. I mean, I've used just about anywhere I can possibly. Obviously, whatever I really, the case. Yeah, whatever the case is, I've tried to use it. <laughs> this use is for. So you said when we were talking earlier before we turned the camera on, you said you've heard some negative feedback about this. What was it? Um, twisting or something? Yeah, the, I mean, if you, if you look at these, I can see how you could twist this, especially if you were really trying to open up so it's max two inches and you were going kind of wild. But I mean, I don't really buy it because you know. If I'm coming at some stain grade, of a stain grade outside miter that I want to be really tight, I'm going to be very careful. I'm not going at it like a madman. Yeah, of course. So I, I don't really see that happening. Um, I can't believe how easy and how fast this goes on. I want these now. Yeah. Can I have these? Oh yes. <laughs> My other look, it all comes down yeah. to the job. If if it's an a, a, B, or C job, even a paint grade job, sometimes you want your miters looking nice because painters yeah. aren't coming in for another right. week or two, or, or a week. And yeah. you don't want the client, you know, seeing a bunch of wood putty. I'm just home. saying my miters are tight without them. I'm just saying the, the holes. All yeah. right, all right, fair enough. Phil's miters are tight, even on paint grade. Yeah, I, I get this. It's made in the USA. I like that. Collins makes some pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, not all high end stuff, but this. I think this is one of their keepers. I think it's definitely a. Um, I think it's a win. I think it's a must have. Yeah, a yeah. must have. What about you? Uh, yeah, definitely. And bag, I see you know, these getting they're, lost. They're light yeah. and they're oh yeah, it's yeah. like it's like might as well be a consumable. You like know, like you have disappear. in your you, you have your set bags. Yeah. That's going to be in the finished bag. That's all going day in long. the finished bag. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So it might stay I mean, for a long time. Small carabiner, lock them all together. Yeah, is that, that's right. That's how you do. yeah. So yeah, yeah, put them all together with a carabiner. I'm not going to lose them. So anyway, guys, that's the Collins miter clamp and plier kit. It's pretty cool. Made in the USA, thirty bucks. You just heard it from us. Uh, it's, a, it's definitely a keeper. I'm going to buy a kit and try it out. Yeah, and I let promise. us know uh, if you're using them, what you like about them, what you don't like. If anything that we said was erroneous, call us out. We want to hear it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Don't call it. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, we want to hear what you guys think. I, I guarantee they're going to like it. There's lots of guys out there probably using yeah. this stuff already. So a lot of smart guys out there. See you next time, guys.